Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm coming to you barefaced for another collection and declutter video. And today we are doing regular bullet lipsticks and lip crayons and that kind of thing. Just sort of like the lighter shades. I decided to, I did a poll on my Instagram trying to decide if I should split the lighter shades with the bolder shades. And it was a little bit mixed, but most people said to split them. So even though I have uh, not quite as many bolder shades. I'm just going to do that one in a separate video. So some of these are a little bit on the border, but I just figured I'd, you know, kind of try and draw the line somewhere. But we're going to go through. You'll see what I decide to keep, what I decide to get rid of. So yeah, after this, we are probably going to tackle the bolder shades. I'll have to do that another day because my daughter woke up, so I have to go get her. And we will do lip gloss in another one as well. We've still got, what do we have? We've got single eyeshadows. Definitely do a miscellaneous type of video because there are some things that I don't have a ton of or, you know, I don't know, we'll see. I also have nail polish. Would you like to see nail polish? I have like a lot of nail polish and I really need to go through and kind of get rid of some. Anyway, grab a snack, sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right, so I have my collection kind of laid out over here. So I won't be getting rid of a ton because I do like a lot of these and I do use them. Um, and I don't think that anything in here is expired, but if it is, of course, I'll get rid of those. And there may be some that I just will sort of put aside and see if any of my family and friends wants them. And then if they don't, I will probably just put them right back in my collection because I can't donate something like this really. I, I feel weird about donating something like this. If it's something that is still in good condition and no one in my life wants it, then I probably will just put it back in here and use it, you know, as much as I can. I can just put it into a Throwback Thursday video or something like that. All right, so let's go through. I tried to kind of put them together by brand. So at the top here, I have my Maybelline ones. And if you're looking for a good drugstore lipstick, the Maybelline lipsticks are really, really good. They are great quality and they have lots of different finishes. These three in the middle are the matte formula. So I really do like this formula quite a bit. It's a matte finish, of course, but it is not super drying. It's still somewhat creamy and you can feel it on your lips. So if you like a matte lip, but you don't want a liquid lipstick and you don't want something that's too drying, this is a great option. They have lots of pretty colors. These are all, of course, nude shades. <laughs> this one is daringly nude. This one is Almond Rose in the middle, and this one is Touch of Spice. Um, this one, Almond Rose, is the newest one to me. I do love all of them. They are great. I like to mix them, especially Daringly Nude and Touch of Spice. I like to mix those quite a bit, but they're all really, really pretty, and I'll definitely be keeping them, and they're still good. This one is, uh, let's see, I don't know what like formula this is supposed to be, but this one is called Blushing Bud. And this is also a really pretty color. It's a little more pink. Let me kind of show you that. I'm not gonna swatch all of these, but see, that's pretty. It's kind of like a light pinky color. It's not necessarily my absolute favorite, but I do like it. So I am going to hang on to this one as well. And this one was one that was kind of like, do I put it in the bold category? Do I put it in this one? But it's still a nude. It's called Move It. It's called, it's from their bold line. So there you go. You can see it is definitely a little bit on the darker side, but it's still kind of a nude. So I figured I'd keep it in this one, but you can see how creamy and pretty that is. So I am going to keep this one. I just don't, you know, I don't pull for these as much as I should, but they are really good quality lipsticks. So I need to start using these more. Up here is from Wet n Wild. This is in the shade bear it all these are also great lipsticks these bullet lipsticks from wet n wild they're really really inexpensive and they're good quality i mean i kind of hate the packaging because i always feel like i'm going to you can see i actually have done that too <laughs> so that wasn't super well thought out you know definitely a very matte lipstick but you can see how creamy that is it's just a good nude so i'm definitely going to keep that so down here this is from sonia kashuk and this not only was this limited edition, but they don't sell Sonia Kashuk makeup anymore. Sonia Kashuk is a brand that is exclusive to Target and they used to sell makeup and they had a lot of really good stuff and now they are only selling, you know, brushes and sponges and beauty tools and that kind of thing. I don't know why, but this was, it's sort of like a, you know, like a tinted bomb. Sahara Sunset Shine 
Luxure Lip Color. <laughs> That's kind of a long name, but anyway, this is really nice. It's probably still good. Let's see. Yeah, see, you can see it's a very sheer, you know, it's, it is really nice. I just don't use it much and you know, it's limited edition and they don't sell their makeup anymore. Even if it, like they used to have, you know, just other shades of these that were permanent, but they don't even sell Sony Kashuk makeup at all anymore. So I think I'm going to put this one aside. Here are my two from Flower Beauty and hopefully I'll be getting more soon because I, I just, I'm loving these lippies from Flower Beauty, especially these two. This is just um, their matte lipstick in Autumn Rose beautiful beautiful lipstick love this color and i love the formula i haven't tried the cream ones like this but i really do like the matte one so i'm sure that those are great too and this is a mix and matte lip duo in honey nudes on one end you get a really pretty lipstick and then on the other end you get a lip topper it really is not like a gloss i mean it definitely like makes your lips look shiny but you can probably even tell like it's, de it's definitely more of a lip topper, but I love the effect that it gives. I'll wear the lipstick on its own. I'll wear, you know, it with this. I wouldn't really wear this by itself, maybe over a lip liner or something, but I really do love this. And so I highly recommend these. This is a lipstick from e.l.f. This is really, really nice. This is called Touch of Nude, and this is a very like nude, nude shade. Let me show you that there. Very pretty though, I do like that. I don't always go for a nude like that. That's, you know, pretty brownie um, and, you know, cool tone like that, but I do really enjoy it. So very good formula if you like. This is from their Beautifully Bare collection. Really good quality and very inexpensive. Down here I have my Milani lipsticks. Again, a really nice lipstick from the drugstore. I have the shades, let's see, Nude Cream. This was sort of like a cult classic one naturally chic and matte naked so this is the matte formula of these lipsticks um really really pretty i think i'm definitely gonna keep that one that's matte naked naturally chic is a little more rosy i guess a little more of like a warm rosy nude Really, really pretty. I'm gonna put this in the maybe because I may have something else that's similar. I do really like this, but I, I just don't need all of these, you know? And this one's really pretty. This is Nude Cream. I've had this for a while. Let's see if it still smells okay. Yep, they have a very particular scent to them, so you'd know. Um, really, really pretty. I have a lot that looks like it, um, but I, I like it. I like it a lot. It's really pretty. Um, I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile too. I'm gonna come back to these and think about it. These are my Too Faced lipsticks. So this one is Nude Beach. I love this color. It's a really pretty pinky nude. Very pretty color. Love, love, love that one. And these are great quality lipsticks and not everybody talks about these for whatever reason. And then this one, I didn't really know which category to put this in, but I wear it a lot with that Nude Beach shade. This is Unicorn Tears. And you, yeah, you can see that I put it on top of things, but it just... It's so cool. It adds like a really pretty effect. So I very often put it like right in the center of my lips. I love the way that this looks. And they came out with other, you know, types like this. Like I think they came out with like mermaid tears or I don't know, other things. I don't know if those were limited edition, but these are so pretty. So if you can get your hands on unicorn tears, it's not the kind of thing that I wear all the time, but it adds such a beautiful effect and it really doesn't look blue. You know, you can see it just sort of adds like an iridescent shift to the lips. So really, really pretty. Here I have my Lorac Pro Matte Lips. I included the shade, let's see, Rose Brown, this darker one in a Throwback Thursday a couple months ago because I just don't pull for these as much anymore. I don't know why, and I don't know why people don't talk about these. These are really, really nice. Again, it's like a matte formula that is definitely very, very matte and very long wearing, but it's not gonna dry out your lips and it's not, you know, like a matte liquid lipstick. And you know, it's like, it's a lip crayon. And of course it doesn't end up staying as pointed as it does when you first get it. You can see that, but it's still pretty easy to apply because it's a small bullet. And these are both really, really pretty. I'm definitely gonna keep both of them. Um, you can see kind of the colors of them. They're pretty similar, but I do like them a lot. I really do recommend these if you're looking for, you know, a matte lipstick. These are really nice. Here are my ColourPop lippies, uh, the lippy sticks. These are the ones that I have that are more nude shades. Of course, I have some that are darker. So I have 
from this side, Frida, which is was limited edition and isn't sold anymore. This was a collab with Coffee Break with Danny. This is a really pretty peachy nude. Um, Tootsie, I really love that one. Oh Snap is pretty new to me. I really, really enjoy this one. This is becoming one of my absolute favorites. Really pretty. Lumiere, I also love. That was a collab with Kathleen Lights, but I think you can still get this one on their site. And Bound, that was the first one I ever got. So Bound is apparently their glossy formula. I don't think that it's really much different from like the satin finish, which is Frida. And then these three are all matte in the center. And I love all of these. So I will definitely be keeping them. This is the only one that I have by Chantikai. Chantikai is definitely a very pricey brand. They are, you know, really a skincare type of makeup brand. So all of their makeup is infused with skincare, which is partly why it's so expensive. But they do have very, very nice products. This was a gift from a good friend of mine. This is their Lip Chic and Gypsy Rose. This is like a tinted balm. So it's supposed to, you know, improve the quality of your lips. And you can see it's a really pretty color, but of course it's nice and sheer. I do really enjoy this, especially, you know, just for a quick, you know, type of lip, you know, that I don't have to worry about lining my lips or making a perfect lip line. This is very, very pretty and it does feel really moisturizing on the lips. This one is another really expensive one. This is by YSL. This is their, what do they call these? Rouge Volup in 13. I can't say that I would repurchase this or that I would keep this if it wasn't so expensive but I'm definitely going to keep it and use it because it was very very pricey it is really really pretty it's just one of those lipsticks and you'll see with this next one it's the same thing it's so creamy that for me because I have crazy lines in my lips it just shows everything so I really have to use either a lip liner underneath and or use a gloss on top because this just can look really it just shows everything like it shows all my lines if you don't have lines on your lips and these will look really good it's a great formula there's nothing wrong with it it's just for me especially in this color because it's sort of like a a pastel peach color it just doesn't do anything for my lips so I have to just it's just a little bit of a high maintenance product which I mean it is expensive so I guess there you go but it just doesn't do great things for my lips in particular but it is really nice lipstick so I wouldn't repurchase this after I use it up but I'm certainly not going to get rid of it because it was expensive. Okay, so another really expensive one, although even though this one is like an arm and a leg, so this is a Tom Ford lipstick. This is in Spanish pink. I didn't buy this. So these are like, now they're like 52 or something dollars. When I got this, this was $50, but I had like a credit for some reason. I don't remember why. And so I was like, oh, this is the perfect opportunity to get one of these because otherwise I wouldn't spend the money on something like this. Maybe I'd get like minis of them because people rave about these lipsticks and I do really like it. It's a very pretty color. It's a great pinky nude color. I mean, you can see it's super creamy. There's nothing wrong with that. But like I said with the, you know, the YSL one, it just shows all the lines in my lips. So I can't just wear this by itself. This shade in particular, maybe it's just because it's sort of like a light, you know, pastel type of pink color. I don't know, but it just shows all the lines in my lips if I don't pair it with something else. So just, I'm definitely gonna get rid of it though because it's so expensive. All right, so these are my two by Urban Decay. This is their old packaging and formula, I guess. And this is the new one. So this one's in the shade Native. I'm not gonna show you this because, well, I can just show you the color. This is a light pinky nude. Um, this is in my Project Pan for 2018. So I definitely am not getting rid of this. But once I use it up, I mean, they have this shade in the new formula. I don't think I'd repurchase the shade though. I don't typically go for light pinky nudes as much anymore. But um, this is this formula is just discontinued. They now sell them like this. And this shade Back Talk, I love this. This is a great, like, this is their Comfort Matte, which is a really nice formula. And this is just a really pretty, like, you know, mauve pink color. So I really do like this. I'm definitely not going to get rid of that. I really thought I had another one of these, but I guess I didn't, or maybe I misplaced it or something. I don't know. I don't usually misplace makeup products, but anyway, that's, I, I can't find the other one that I thought maybe I had. Maybe I just never had it. So anyway, definitely gonna keep this one. These two are by NYX. They're just two different formulas. This one is the matte lipstick. This is in the shade T-Rose. This is really pretty. I really, really enjoy this. Uh, definitely not gonna get rid of that. I love that color. And then this one, I have two of these, and I actually talked about this product in 
my products that lost the hype too quickly because no one talks about these anymore. And actually they have like a new name, but they're basically the same exact thing. So this one's in the shade Tiara. And I actually prefer the other one that I own. You'll see that in my brighter lipsticks one. Um, but I just have colors like that and I don't know, I just don't need this one, so I'm gonna kind of put it aside. And so then these are my lipsticks by Bite. This one's a little like duo. These are great deals when you can find these things. So it's they're in the shade Musk and Lychee. So just both really pretty nudes. And yeah, they're, this is a great deal and I like this. I don't use it as much as I should, of course, but I love little minis like this because especially if you have a big collection like I do, it's a great way to actually go through your stuff when you can you know you can get through something like this a lot quicker and easier than you know a full size product and then this one's another like mini size this one is in this shade glace this was like a hyped up shade for a bit and it's really really pretty i do really enjoy this it even has like a little sharpener on this side very very pretty shade i i definitely need to use that more and I really enjoy this. I really do love the Bite formula. It's a great, great formula. It's all natural and really enjoy them. And then this is one of their Amuse Bouche lipsticks. This is in Meringue and I really, really like that one. So very, very pretty and great quality lipstick. And they have so many colors, you can definitely find one that you like. So these are both by Marc Jacobs. They're both minis, which I love. And I feel like they were both point perks or something like that. It's so, so great to get things like this. This one is in the shade Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. This is another one that was sort of like in the middle of like, do I put this in the darker ones? Do I put this in the lighter ones? But anyway, very, very pretty. You can see it is a little bit on the darker side, but it's still kind of a, you know, on the lighter side. I don't know. It was hard to tell which one I should put it in, but I figured I'd just put them together. And then this one's in Slow Burn. I love Slow Burn. I would get a full size of this if I ran out of it. These these lipsticks are such an unbelievable formula. Oh my gosh, they are so, so nice. They're expensive, but they are a beautiful formula if you like a regular like bullet type of lipstick. Oh my gosh, they're so, so good. This one is one of the, what did they call these? This is by Dose of Colors. This is in the shade Brulee. Again, I, I kind of, this packaging makes me so nervous that I'm gonna like mess up the lipstick. I hate when companies do that. It's such a cool bullet though. Um, I like this. I mean, it's, it's and it's a, you know, a good peachy nude. You can see how creamy that is. It's a great lipstick. I'm not gonna get rid of it. I enjoy it, but I wouldn't really repurchase any of these lipsticks. They're good, but I just prefer their matte liquid lipsticks. That's just my preference. This one is by Chanel, and it's one of their Rouge Coco Shines in the shade Confident. You know, it's one of those like tinted bomb type of things. It's really, really pretty. It's just, you know, it's a very light shade, but you know, it's just a pretty formula and it doesn't last long. I wouldn't get like tons of these, but like it's nice to have one. And I do really, really love this. So, you know, if you like something that's very, very natural, this is a good product for sure. This one is my only lipstick by Bobbi Brown. This is the shade Ballerina Shimmer. This is the lipstick that I wore at my rehearsal dinner with a gloss that you'll see, of course, in the gloss video. But you know, my mom purchased the the lipstick and the gloss for me as, you know, a little bit of a gift because it was my wedding weekend. And I wore this at the rehearsal dinner, like I said. And so it's kind of like a special lipstick to me. Ooh, looks like it's kind of like melted a little bit there. That's not good. It is really, really pretty. And I do enjoy this lipstick. So I just need to kind of get that fixed a little bit there because it's, let's see if you can see that. Let me roll that down a little bit so I don't mess it up too much. Um, you can just see it's a really pretty, really pretty pink color with lots of gold shimmer in it. It's beautiful. So I just need to, I just need to like put this in the fridge for a little bit and get it back to, to where it should be. And here are my NARS lipsticks. So this is sort of their original lipstick formula. Nothing wrong with it. It's in the shade Cat Fight. It's a really pretty color. I do really enjoy this one a lot. Um, a little bit more of a drier formula. It's not like my favorite, but I don't mind that. I just kind of have to like warm it up a little bit and it is a very, very pretty color. So I do love this. I just, it, the formula is not my favorite. It's fine though. It's definitely not something I would get rid of. But these, these are the audacious lipsticks and this formula is 
probably my favorite. Yeah, I think so. This, this together with the Marc Jacobs and the Makeup Forever, I think are probably my three favorite lipstick formulas, like by, you know, of, of like bullet lipsticks. Oh my gosh, this is probably my favorite though. Oh, I mean, I would just own all of them if I had like, you know, all the money in the world to spend because, oh my gosh, these are such good lipsticks. Like it, they're definitely pricey, of course, it's NARS. But if you want to splurge or if you just want a really good lipstick, it's such a good formula. It's long lasting for a creamy bullet lipstick. It's comfortable. It's super creamy and pigmented. They're just so, so good. So the first one that I got was the shade Anna, which everyone was talking about when these first came out. Just a beautiful, beautiful color. Oh my gosh. Like, I, I, I don't even have to say anything else, okay? That's the shade Anna. And then later I ended up getting this one in the, sh this is in the shade Anita. This is a great, just like nude color. Oh my gosh. Like just one swipe and it's just perfect. I just, I love these so much. I really do want to get more of them, but I just have so many lipsticks that I need to kind of go through them a bit more. But, and they have that beautiful magnetic closure that people love. Just amazing, amazing lipsticks. Definitely worth the price for sure. These are a little bit newer to me. These are from the brand Collab. This is a brand at Sally Beauty that is created in partnership with uh, beauty influencers here on YouTube and not just in partnership they help create these products and I did a whole video on these and then I did an update video as well uh, I can definitely link those down below so that you can check those out but I really really do like these lipsticks I think that they are great quality lipsticks this one is probably my favorite the one in the shade really this is their matte formula because they have two different formulas they have the matte and the satin formula so I wanted to get one of each to try so this one is the matte formula. You can see really, really pretty. And when I first got this, I thought maybe it was similar to Anna from, oops, sorry. I thought that it was similar to Anna from NARS, but you can see they're, they're definitely different. I mean, you know, close enough if you're looking for something similar, but this one's definitely more purple than this one. Really, really nice. And then this one I do really like. I mean, it's, it's not, certainly not a bad lipstick and um, it's a really pretty color, but it's a little more sheer. You can see it's just a little more sheer and it's just nothing that unique to me. So I think I am going to put this one aside and see if someone wants it again. If not, then it can just go back in my collection because there's nothing wrong with it and I do enjoy it. It's just not my absolute favorite. Okay, and this is one from Lorac. This is in the shade Goddess. And this is their Alter Ego lipsticks. I assume they still sell these. I don't even really know to be honest with you, but it's a very purple lipstick. And I do really like that, but if I'm gonna go for a color like this, it's probably going to be a liquid lipstick. And not that it's that dark, but it's just purple. And I don't wear purple a whole lot. And so it's just kind of sitting in my collection. So I think I am gonna put this one aside. So these are all from Makeup Forever. It's just different like formulas. So, so this one is a mini obviously, and this is a full size, but this is their old formula. This is the Rouge Artist Intense. I think these both are intense. So this is Rouge Artist Natural. I don't know. This one was obviously a mini that I got. I think this was like a birthday gift or something like that. I've had this for a really long time. Okay, let's look at the color and see. It's definitely like, you know, a medium tone shade. Yeah, so you can see that it's not like super intense. That's why they called it that. So I think I am going to put this one aside because it's just not my absolute favorite. I don't pull for this really at all. So I'm gonna put that over there. This one I'm definitely not getting rid of because this was my wedding lipstick. I wore this on my actual wedding day and I bought it because I figured, you know, I could touch up with it, but also it'd be really special to have it because that means something to me. That's, you know, I'm a big makeup person, obviously. And so, you know, that combined with my wedding day, that was special for me. And I'm glad that I did because they don't sell these anymore. So this is the Rouge Artist Intense in 11. But this is a really pretty like shimmery color. Uh, I don't know if they sell something like this, you know, exactly in their new formula, but I love this and I'll, you know, I just wore it on our anniversary dinner um, a couple months ago and that was really special. And so I'll wear it as long as it's still good. And then once it isn't, I'll just, you know, I'll keep it because it's just special to me. And, uh, and I can't get it anymore, unfortunately. So 
definitely gonna keep that. This is the only one I have in their new formula, but I love this formula. This is the Artist Rouge Cream in C105. So they have different formulas. This is obviously a cream formula. And this is just a great everyday nude for me. And what I love about this is that it goes on creamy, but then it just, it sort of sets and it becomes a little more matte, but still comfortable and, and creamy on the lips, but it just lasts super well. So I really do love this. And it's such a great nude shade. I love that. Super creamy and beautiful and comfortable. I definitely really, really recommend these lipsticks. And they're not super, super expensive for high end. So I love these. I would definitely get more of these. And then we have all of my MAC lipsticks. Of course, the ones that are, you know, of the lighter shades. So this one was from the Cinderella collection. This one is in the shade Royal Ball. It's a luster. I don't typically go for the lusters, but... I mean, the packaging was beautiful. I wanted to get one of their shades, so that's the one that I got. And this is a very light color. You can see by the bullet that I usually layer this. I usually put this like in the center or to lighten up a lipstick. So I do use it, but I just don't typically wear it on its own. I will definitely keep that though. By the way, the reason that this has like an X on it is because I got this as like a, as a freebie when I back to Mac stuff. So if you don't know, if you get together I think it's five or six products I can't remember what it is anymore but um that are empty you can bring them to MAC and they will give you a lipstick for free or an eyeshadow or something else obviously I go for the lipsticks um so I really do enjoy MAC lipsticks I think they are a great formula they have lots of different types of formula so I mostly prefer the cream sheens and the mattes by the way I also have a luster again not my favorite that's in my purse downstairs gosh what is the shade oh my gosh I can't remember the shade off the top of my head now if it comes to me I'll tell you but if not I'll put it on the screen it's not my absolute favorite and so I keep it oh patisserie there we go patisserie I keep it in my purse because it's a great shade that I can just toss on you know when I'm out and about if I need to put on something and so that's the best way that I'm going to use it up is by putting it in there so that's why it's there and I forgot to bring it up anyway so Let's see, this one is Among the Fireflies. This is a cream sheen and this was limited edition. It's a pretty brownie nude shade. Love that one. This one is in the shade Coral Bliss. And even though, and this is a cream sheen, and even though this looks like it's super bright, it's pretty sheer. So it's not my absolute favorite. It's pretty. I, uh, I'm gonna see if somebody wants it. This is the shade Peach Stock. This is a satin. I don't have that many satins, I don't think. Um, but this is a nice peachy nude color, as you would imagine. Um, I don't wear this a ton by itself because it's very, very nude, but I do like, you know, kind of mixing this with other things or putting it in the center. So definitely going to keep that. This is in the shade Angel. This is a frost. I, this is definitely the only frost I have. And I really don't wear this a whole lot anymore, but I don't want to get rid of it. I don't think, I do still love it. It's a pretty, really pretty shiny pink color. So I don't wear it a ton, but I am going to keep it because I do still like it. This one is in the shade Velvet Teddy. This is one of my absolute favorites. It's a matte and I love it. It's really, really pretty. You can see that there. Great nude shade. Definitely not getting rid of that. This one is in the shade Brave. This is a pretty color. I don't know if I'd repurchase this one. I do like it, but I just have things that are similar. Hmm. And I got this one for free, so it's not like I can back to Mac it. So I'm going to see if somebody wants this because it, I feel like it's very similar to like some of the other shades that I kept, like that one from Collab and Nars Anna. And I don't need multiple shades of that same kind of color. So I'm going to see if somebody wants this one. And then this one, this is not the first of this one that I've had. This is cream, a cream sheen in the shade Modesty. This is my all-time favorite MAC lipstick and probably one of, definitely one of my top lipsticks of all time. It's just a beautiful pinky nude. I love that shade and I will always repurchase that one. So in my maybe pile, I had these Milani ones. Uh, I think I am gonna see if somebody wants them just so that I can add some more to my pile and feel like I got rid of some <laughs> because they're really pretty, but I just have a lot like them. So I already kept one of my Milani and I'm just gonna see if somebody wants these two. All right, everyone, so that is it for my lipstick, well, 
light lipstick, I guess we're gonna call it. I don't know what we're gonna call it yet, but my collection and declutter video. Let me know what you'd like to see next, if there's something that you wanna see that I haven't mentioned. Definitely some more that I wanna do. I'm enjoying using my channel as sort of a way to spring clean a little bit. I still keep plenty and I'll have a big collection because I, I just, I love, makeup and I'm, you know, I'm not gonna necessarily just like cut my collection in half just for the sake of it. But I think it is good to every so often go through and, you know, evaluate what you have, make sure that you're using what you have and take out the things that you're not using and see if somebody else wants them. You know, maybe somebody could enjoy, you know, it's like your trash could become someone else's treasure that type of thing. I also feel like this helps sometimes to just make sure that I go through and see like, oh yeah, I forgot about that lipstick. I need to use that. You know, this is sort of, um, you know, we'll go along with my Throwback Thursday videos. You know, I can kind of go through and be like, oh, I, I haven't used that one for a while. I should add that to my Throwback Thursday. And then I can remember to use it a little bit more because I certainly have things that I need to pay more attention to. And I just, you know, there are things that I hang on to because I bought them and there was a time that I liked them and I, I I don't really have anything that's like really, really bad because if I did, I would probably have gotten rid of it already or returned it or something like that. But I still feel like sometimes I have to push myself to get rid of things that are good. I just, I don't use them as much as I should and maybe somebody else would enjoy them more. So anyway, that's my two cents for the day. I hope you enjoyed this one. We will definitely uh, move on to the rest of my lipsticks in another video. So stay tuned for that. If you like this video, please make sure and give it a big thumbs up. That really does help out my channel so much. If you are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. I would just love to have you stick around, and I really hope to see you next time.